Abel is about a, a 10 year old kid that one day comes back home from a mental institution with his mother and uh, he's there to be for a few weeks and he finds out his father is not there and one morning he wakes up and and decides to become the father of the family you know starts to behave as a grown up and and he truly believes that he's the the father of his sister and his brother and the husband of his mother and uh, everything starts to go crazy from there ¿Qué es esto? Un ocho. ¿Y esto? Pues una Y. Esta resta está mal hecha. Esa es la fecha. Los ochos parecen seises. Vuelve a hacer. I believe I'm a terrible actor and uh, I've, uh, I've tried enough. <laughs> Uh, but no, basically, I believe, I don't know, I started producing first and then I said, okay, I'm ready to direct, but it was quite natural. I never think about it in the way that, okay, I'm going to have to stop one to start another, you know, it's not a U-turn I did, it's, it's part of the same in a way. Uh, it's just that I felt I, I was ready to tell my own story. and. Uh, and I wanted film to be personal, as personal as it can be. And, and I believe film is about directors, you know. Everyone else around is just a tool for a director to tell a story to, the, a story that, that has a point of view and it's always the point of view of a director. So I, one day I, I decided to do a documentary that I believe is, it's a, it was the right step to make, you know, in order to one day do my film my fiction film with actors, and uh, and it was great to, to to do a documentary because I kind of I, I gained all the confidence I needed, you know, through doing a documentary. <laughs> Tranquilo, mi amor, respira. ¿Estás bien? Sí. Ve por las pastillas, por favor. Mi amor, cálmate. Abel, abre la boca, por favor. Ya pasó. Ya pasó, hijo, ya pasó. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> well, Are you really going to talk about our relation? Or? I, do you think it's time? Uh, I that think we, it's time. I that think. We and if you say it in English, out. he won't understand, so it's time. Oh, okay. Stand there, you know. Should I tell him that we're going to adopt him? And <laughs> exactly. Ask for, ask for, yeah. Está diciendo que te vamos a adoptar. Está saliendo del closet, básicamente. Es un día muy importante para él. No, well, he, he, he told me his idea of the film, and I, I like it, and we started working together, but uh, I mean, we knew each other si since school, since high school, when we were like 12 or 13. And we lost contact with each other, and through this film, we, we, we uh, yeah. We, we connected. We connected. I read a script he, he wrote, and that the, the company we have uh, wanted to buy, and I read it and I was like, wow, that is, this is amazing. I want to work with this guy. And uh, we met and he was like, All right, we know each other. Yeah, of course. Yeah, we went to school together. Oh, uh -huh. fantastic. He, he used to, to stole the money from lunch from me. <laughs> he, he used to <laughs> stole my sandwich, uh, you know, uh -huh. all that. Uh, and he was first like, OK, take my money. Don't, don't hit me anymore. <laughs> and then I stole his ideas and yeah. I did a film with it. Él estaba bien antes de eso, ¿no te acuerdas? Ah, mi Dios. ¿Tú crees que le estás Mira, haciendo bien? Mira, si te quieres bien? quedar aquí, Déjame está hablar. bien. ¿Tú crees que le estás está bien, haciendo? pero te vas a quedar en la sala y no puedes decirle nada. ¿Cómo en la sala? Ah, ¿sí? ¿Por qué en la...? Mira, tú no sabes cómo se pone y además Philly dijo que no había que confrontarlo. Ah, Philly dijo eso. Mm -hmm. ¿Y qué va a decir cuando se entere de que están todos madreados y que uno ni siquiera se acuerda de mí? ¿Mm? <ríe> Ay, Anselmo, si yo difícilmente me acuerdo de ti. It was hard to 
cast him because there was a lot of risk involved. You know, there was no way uh, to know that it was going to work. Basically, you know, it was. I don't know. I, I I always thought that if you if you work the way a kid needs to work, uh, what you get is unbelievable and uh, unique. But I didn't know that for sure, you know. And uh, we went into the process, and it was a workshop, and then uh, like more of a theater approach, you know, where we worked of everything he was gonna need on the process of shooting the film, but not the film. And then we 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 realized this was a, a, a real actor, you know. This kid, he just enjoys so much performing, pretending, you know. He's he's a he, He's a guy that can play five, ten roles a day, you know, in his life. So the 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 challenge was to f find a way he would have the same joy he has in life on set, make the set a perfect playground for him to come and play. No. De qué se va a tratar el festival del Día del Padre de Aztecas o qué? Sí, pero tú no me vas a venir porque no tienes papá. Por esto, una. Mira, esto es lo que vamos a bailar. How personal is the film? But it's um, it's very personal. It's very, very personal. It talks about a kid wanting to be an adult or pretending to be an adult. And uh, it, it does talk about my childhood, but also about the, the father I don't want to become, you know, and, uh, and uh, I want to reflect on that responsibility that means to be a father, you know, and, uh, and about family and how when a kid grows with the absence of a father or a mother, that that that's a wound you carry forever, you know? And uh, yeah, I guess uh, through the story of Abel, I'm saying many things I, I worry about. Uh, but I also wanted the story of Abel to be far enough from me that I could play with it, laugh about it, you know, be ironic uh, and, and be objective also. There's the difference between you and your size, you see? Anselmo, open me! Meme, si yo podría ser tu padre, ¿sí? Tú eres un niño. Eres un niño, eres mi hijo. A ver, es que, dame bien, sí, yo podría ser tu padre, ¿no? Tú eres un niño, a ver, y Cecilia es tu mamá, y es mi esposa, y tú eres mi hijo, tú eres mi hijo. I believe, yeah, it's in, it's in the structure of, of society, you know? There's a, I mean, the third city that has more Mexicans is, is, is well, the third state that has more Mexicans is California. Uh, it, it's definitely a reality. Lots of, lots of families in Mexico are struggling and the, 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 the fathers go to find an opportunity either in the city or in the country next to us, you know. And, uh, and you, you get to see a lot of towns, for example, where there's just women, you know, kids, and uh, old guys, you know, that come back. And uh, yeah, there's a, 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 there, it's a country that because it doesn't give you an opportunity in order to survive and ends up breaking families, you know? And, uh, and I believe that's, yeah, part of, of us today, you know? We, we're used to see how mothers run the houses, how mothers are responsible for the education of kids, how mothers are, yeah, running the show, basically. Sabes que si me hubiera quedado, hubiéramos terminado haciéndonos bien mucho daño. Ah, ¿Y para qué regresaste? Yo quería verlos ah. y quería saber cómo estaban. ¿Cómo estamos? Ah, pues estamos muy bien. Bueno, lo de los locales no me alcanza para nada. Cada semana andamos viendo qué vendemos para completar el gasto. I think there is two points of view here. One is, if you see the film through, through the kid, probably you can laugh a lot, you know? And, uh, through what this kid generates in the family is quite funny and, and the idea is really funny of a kid behaving like a grown-up. But when you see the film from the point of view of a mother, then it starts to be very painful, you know, and it's not fun anymore. Like, the same happened to me. When we were writing, I was laughing a lot. When I became a father and a, 
I started to think about the scenes as a father, I was like, oh my God, this is not funny at all. In fact, this is quite disturbing, you know? And uh, the, the, the film has that balance, you know? I, I, even though it's called Abel, and even though apparently it's a film about a kid, I believe it's a film about a mother and a son. And uh, that's where the balance comes from. Is this esto? Or les digo yo? Niños, van a tener un nuevo hermanito. ¿Qué? Vengan. Niños, apuren que tenemos que hablar. The, the input of, of, of John and Gael was very important in different moments, you know. Uh, John was uh, there at the beginning and at the end, you know. He read the script, I received notes, and then we shot. Uh, he saw some dailies and stuff, but he was doing his own work. And then at the end, when I was editing, it's when, when I, I got the most from John. And on the ending, he was, he helped me a lot to get to the ending you'll see today uh, by making questions, you know. It's, I, I love the way John produces or directs because he's never going to tell you, you have to do this, you know. He, he's like a shrink <laughs> in a way, you know. He's just like, why are you doing this? Oh, and uh, why that choice? Uh, because of this, really? Uh, and have you thought about this? What about this? And then suddenly you're like, yeah, no, you know what? Uh, I think this needs to happen. I think the kid needs to see his mother. And instead of him saying, I would like you to have an ending where the kid looks at the mother, you get there by yourself, you know, helped by him, you know, but, uh, but you get there. And uh, as an actor, as a director, as a someone that needs to, I mean, it's, a, it's at the end your point of view, you know? So either you truly believe in what you're saying or you won't do it. And he knows that because he's an actor and he's a director, so he can be the best producer you can have. Uh, and with Gael is different. With Gael is a, so, such a close friend that he knows very personally what to say and when to say it, you know? And what, what triggers what. And a friend, you know, a friend is the only guy that can really tell you the truth many times, you know. It's just a friend who can say, hey, slow, slow down, man, right? This is not, not working. And uh, he, was, he was there also for a personal support that I needed a lot through the process. ¿Está buena, mi amor? Abel. Abel, ¿está rica? Abel. Definitely, there was references uh, that I used a lot. And uh, from the moment we started writing, uh, there was a book of David Treva that we read and uh, that inspired us a lot. Uh, but in terms of film, I would say the the Cohen brothers, uh, you know, the 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 Barton Fink, for example, was a film we 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 watched a lot, and I watched a lot with the with the DP um, in order to 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 create a, a fantasy world, you know, a reality that is a little twisted, and that you could tell. The, through, through the light, that there's something magic about the place, you know? And uh, I wanted that house to be magic and to become a character. Uh, there, was, um, there was a film also, The Royal Tenenbaums, for example, that I, I, I saw a lot and I, I worked with, as a reference, with uh, Brigitte, who's the production designer. Um, and with the actors, there was many references, you know? Uh, many of, of, of the kind of acting I, I wanted it in the film, and uh, I think Alfonso Cuaron, for many reasons, is is it's a guy that I I trust a lot and that I have learned a lot from. Uh, he's definitely an inspiration in many ways, and uh, when I worked with him as an actor, I felt part of the team. You know, I've, he he kind of introduced me with the world of cinema, uh, and. Uh, and yeah, I thought about him a lot when we were shooting.
Sí, me gustaría seguir haciendo películas. Ya, ya estoy aburrido, ya. Quiero hacer otra peli. I would love to do more film. I'm, I'm, in fact, I'm quite bored. I want to do a film right now. ¿Y dónde vive? Vive en la colo... Pues, eh, pues, ¿por aquí? ¿Aquí? ¿Por qué? ¿Aquí dónde? Pues aquí, aquí, eh, cerquitas, aquí. ¿Y por qué nunca lo había visto? Ah, pues porque, porque estaba en el gabacho trabajando. ¿Dónde? Pues en, el gaba en, el, en Estados Unidos, estaba trabajando en Estados Unidos. ¿Mucho tiempo? ¿Mm? ¿Cuánto tiempo? Eh, pues, ¿qué? Dos años y cacho. Dos años y cachito. ¿Y tiene esposa e hijos? ¿Y los extraña? ¿Mm? Relájese. ¿No ve que yo me parezco a usted? Trabajo fuera, en un hospital. Hago manualidades, ya sabe, para mantener a la familia. <risa>